Virginia Governor Ralph Northam addressing the controversial photo capturing the nation's attention. Just a few hours ago, we brought you that news conference live where the governor claims he is not in the photo, says he will not step down, and that he didn't know the photo was on his EVMS yearbook page. Tonight, News 3 has team coverage breaking down the governor's remarks. News 3 reporter Samantha German is live outside Eastern Virginia Medical School where that yearbook started all of this. First, we want to go to News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton in Richmond. He first broke this story for us and was there while the governor tried smoothing things over today. Brendan, what was it like inside the governor's mansion? I got to tell you, it was a bit surreal being inside the governor's mansion a little bit earlier this afternoon. The governor really, really trying to make his point. He went on and on and on, despite his staff trying to end the press conference several times and Northam also making an admission today. I believe then and now that I am not either of the people in that photo. In a change of course, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam now says he is not dressed up in blackface or in a KKK costume in this picture. Amid calls for him to resign, he says he will not, at least for now, calling that the easy way out of this. I cannot in good conscience choose the path that would be easier for me in an effort to duck my responsibility to reconcile. Last night, Northam apologized for the racist photo that appears under his name in the 1984 yearbook at Eastern Virginia Medical School. Last night, he said he was in the photo, but now says he's not. Last night, I finally had a chance to sit down and look at the photograph in detail. Um, it is definitely not me. Uh, I can tell by looking at it. I have had friends also look at it and tell me it's not me. But he did admit to dressing up as Michael Jackson and darkening his face during a dance contest in a separate incident. I look back now and regret that I did not understand the harmful legacy of an action like that. It is because my memory of that episode is so vivid that I truly do not believe I am in the picture in my yearbook. And even as his staff tried several times to end the press conference, Northam continued to answer questions. He says he wants more testing to be done on the photo to prove it's not him and says, at least for now, he's not going anywhere. Right now, I am simply asking for the opportunity to demonstrate beyond a shadow of a doubt that the person I was is not the man I am today. I am asking for the opportunity to earn your forgiveness. And for now, Northam says he will continue the work as governor, but for how long? Even during the press conference today, there were more and more calls for him to step down. We're live in Richmond. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3. You want to put in the work for a long road to healing? I'm glad. Do it from outside the mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Let's eat this one and resign. Yeah. Just before the governor spoke, protesters gathered outside of the governor's mansion in Richmond. They are demanding his resignation. If the governor were to step down, the next in line to take over would be Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. In a statement, he said Governor Northam reached out to him to apologize and that we, quote, need leaders with the ability to unite and help us rise to the better angels of our nature. Right now, only one statewide elected politician is calling for Governor Northam to step down. Attorney General Mark Herring made that announcement this afternoon. His statement says in part, quote, it is no longer possible for Governor Northam to lead our Commonwealth and it is time for him to step down, end quote. Herring went on to say if that happens, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax would have his full support. Several groups have issued statements calling on the governor to resign. The Virginia Legislative Black Caucus says they are amplifying their call for him to step down. They say the damage has been done. Eastern Virginia Medical School also tweeted about the incident earlier today, saying they share the outrage, alarm, and sadness voiced by their alumni. The Virginia House of Delegates Speaker Kirk Cox and Republican leaders are also coming, ca calling for Governor Northam's resignation. Several reporters asked the governor why should we believe him now, given his statement yesterday. The governor referenced his time at the Virginia Military Institute and the Cadet Code of Honor. My word, uh, I will stand and live by my word. I was the president of the VMI Honor Court. Our code there is a cadet shall not lie, cheat, steal, or tolerate those do. Uh, that's the most meaningful thing to me in my life. 
I tell the truth. We continue our team coverage with News 3 reporter Samantha German. She has been talking with people in Hampton Roads about the photograph and Governor Northam's response to it today. So, Samantha, how are people feeling? Well, Todd, many people in this area right near EVMS, the medical school where he graduated from, say they have mixed emotions about his response today, especially because he had a different one on yesterday. Some believe that he needs to resign, while others think he should stay. I think he ought to leave. I really do. I really think he should leave. This was when he was a much younger person, and I don't think he should resign. I am not in that photograph. Words from Governor Northam as he addressed the media earlier this afternoon about this shocking and hurtful photo of someone in blackface and another in a KKK uniform, shown on his yearbook page from 1984. Although today he says he is not in this photograph, just last evening he said, quote, a website published a photograph of me from my 1984 medical school yearbook in a costume that is clearly racist and a Offensive. Some here in Hampton Roads are not buying his statements. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. And, and it's utterly disturbing that he would even think that we believe him right now after he said that he did. And then now he say it's not him. Oh, we, we don't believe it. It was a different day and age at the time. Dukes of Hazard was the number one kid show at that time. And it had a converted flag on top of the car. Well, they would never do that today. But some local people right here in Norfolk say a different time or not, a photograph like this is unacceptable and inexcusable. We know how he feels now, so there's no disguise in that. And I'm just really hurt. And again today, Governor Northam made it very clear he has no plans of resigning anytime soon. Live in Norfolk, Samantha German, News 3.